savage, bro. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week with the jokes, but my dudes, nothing is a bigger joke than that lame girly phone. What are you, you still in kindergarten? Okay, listen, we're not bothering y'all, so can I please just have my phone back? Oh, is little Charlie Wall and little widow baby gonna cry? Okay, okay, you can have your phone back, okay? Really? Thanks. Sure, you can have it back where after you fetch it out the trash where it belongs. Break 
off your Barbie toy. That's your favorite one. No, it isn't. Barbies are stupid. They're for lame babies. And guess what? I'm not lame, stupid, or a baby. I'm a big girl now, and I hate Barbies. Now, honey, you know you love Barbie. Your whole room is literally Barbie. So don't tell me that you hate Barbie. Why don't you just tell me what's really bothering you? Maybe I can help you. You know you'll feel better. It's Sorry that happened to you, honey. Boys always are like this at that age, and we never get better sometimes because we always laugh it off and say boys would just be boys, but I'm here to tell you that that's not okay, all right? Is there anything I can do to help you? No, I just want to get home, go to my room, and sleep, okay? Okay, but just remember, bullies only pick on people who are insecure of themselves. Them seeing how much you really love Barbie, it probably makes them jealous, which is why they're picking on you. Dad, trust me, Zach, Hayden, and Max, they have so I don't know what their lives are like at home, Charlotte. Trust me, only hurt people hurt other people. The best revenge is living your best life and being who you want to be, okay? Now, what started all of this? Yeah, I guess I never thought of that. So, there's this competition in school, and it's really, really big. So, we have to be creative and make something out of everyday items. Me and Mia thought that we would team up and we would make a Barbie doll dream house. And I would use the leftover wood that Mom had from wintertime, and Mia would use her mom's old fabric scraps or whatever and then to make our dolls we're going to use some clay but the color really doesn't matter we just have to make sure that we can prove that those are everyday items that's a wonderful idea i'm sure you and mia can do it like i always say where there's a well there's a way thanks dad um, i think we might have a real shot at this okay so i think i figured it out we can use popsicle sticks as the base and then we can use the wood as the frame so we can have a solid type of foundation. And if you want, we can either make it stick together with hot glue or we can just ask my dad to help us and we can just hammer it with nails. I took this mirror on my mom's makeup palette. I was thinking that we could use it for, for the windows and then I was thinking we can make like a swinging door and we can use cardboard for that. Oh, gee, this is all coming together so nicely. I can't believe I was gonna let Zachary talk My dad says the best revenge is being successful and we get back at him by winning that contest. That's what my dad always says. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this tent together. Put this tent together. We're gonna win this competition. class i'm so glad to see that you guys have participated so eagerly in this competition we'll be starting from left to right starting with zach max and hayden who have brought us outside to see there so you're up zach max and hayden okay as you can see we have something very special under this sheet it's gonna blow your mind using everyday items we have made a bike made from purely everyday items and you can actually ride it see come on bro show them you can ride it show them you can ride it bro win us that competition bro we made it from recycled water bottles basically reinforcing the bottom with tin cans and wood from my dad's garage we also even gave it a shiny look with some spray paint so that way it would have a glow on it and we gave it some led lights so at night time you can ride it and stay safe wow this is impressive indeed boys incredible if i had to decide right now i would say that this is the best one but we still have other projects to see plus i'm actually not even the one judging the competition you're not Oh no, I'm just the one making sure that everything is in order before the real judge get here. Remember I told you guys that Kids & Co. will be sponsoring this competition? Well yeah, they have a representative coming in and he's going to be the one judging the thing. But judging by you guys' bike, you have nothing to worry about. That bike is incredible. Great! Did you see how amazing their little bike and presentation was? It's no way our little dingy dollhouse is ever going to compare to that. Shh, don't give up hope just yet. We're up next. Charlotte, Mia, why don't we head inside so you can show us what you made? <laughs>
Who's that man? It must be the judge of sitting sitting behind the easel judging our work. Pretty nervous. Me too. But it's Taco Tuesday, so let's eat. Ooh, I'm a damn girl shot who's like doggies. Come on, bro, we got that much time. Hurry up. Do you have any proof? No, but, but I know it was them. They've been bullying me all week. I'm sorry, Charlotte, but without proof, my hands are tied. Everybody, let me go ahead and introduce you guys to Mr. Smith. He's the representative of Kids and Co. He was in here when you guys were all presenting your projects. And Mr. Smith, an unfortunate event happened with Charlotte and Mia's dollhouse. But I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement when we say that the bike has won. <clears throat> so, you boys made that bike outside all by yourself from scratch using everyday items? Of course, Mr. Smith, we would never cheat. That's good to know. Well, if that's the case, then you guys are the winner of the contest, indeed. Whoa! 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 I haven't said that you won. I said if that's the case. Now, can you please explain to me how you got that bike to bear all that weight and move at the same time? What formulas did you use to make sure that the tension was precise enough so that the bike could bear weight on such small wheels? Um, yeah. Yes, but how did you get it to move? What kind of motor did you use to make the wheels turn? And what household objects did the motor come from? Oh, I'm waiting. We used the um air conditioner motor. Please show me where the motor is. Um, it should be right under the pedals, I think. Motor seems to have vanished, huh? That and the wiring technology used to build that bike definitely do not qualify as everyday items. The fact that you three couldn't even tell me how the motor worked or where it is shows me that you didn't make this bike yourself. Therefore, that means you three have cheated. Consider yourself disqualified. Mia, you guys are lucky that I saw your beautiful dollhouse before it was destroyed by these three kids. I want you guys to know that your dollhouse really resonates with me. I have a daughter that loved dollhouses when she was younger, and it made her believe that she could be anything she wanted to be as well. Her first doll that she ever made was an astronaut doll, and you guys will never believe that she grew up to be an astronaut. So I want you guys to know that you have won the $500 gift card. Where will you use these gift certificates, girls? <laughs> 